160. He's gone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an oil change on a Buell 1125R. Uh, this procedure is specific to the Buell 1125R uh, all years. Uh, it won't work for the XB series because this one carries, this has a Rotex built engine. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do an oil change. So far all we've done is the bike is fully warmed up and we're up on the track stand. You want to make sure it's secure. This is a big heavy bike. You don't want it uh, to fall on you. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to remove the uh, dipstick. And we're just going to clean it off and set it aside. And you can see uh, it's graduated. Second thing you're going to need is this. This is KN564. This is a cartridge style filter. And in addition to that, you need to buy this. This comes separately, costs a few bucks at the Harley dealer. Uh, it's new crush rings and a new O-ring for the cover. You're going to need a 3 8 wrench, um, a wrench set of standard heads. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put this under here like that. And our first port of call is here on the left-hand side of the engine. Let's see a 17 millimeter. This is drain bolt number one. Just bust that loose and then it'll just come out by hand. You want to have a towel ready, clean up your hands a little bit. And we want to make sure that we clear off particulate it's on here because this plug is magnetic get all that nastiness out of there our oil change kit comes with a new crush washer for this plug and I'm guessing a new crush washer for the other plug so this bike actually has a secondary drain bolt on the other side of the motor and you're gonna need a six millimeter X head to just pop it loose you need to use an extension there we go now mine didn't have a crush washer it's still attached to the block but this is the crush washer that goes over here now the next step to remove cover right here and you can do that either using the internal hex or I'm actually just gonna use use an eight millimeter quarter inch socket and take this cover off. And it's very important to drain from both sides because you can see there's quite a bit coming out that other side. We're gonna make a mess again. Make sure you put this in the right way. This part goes inside the cap as you can see. So we're just gonna take that out, clean this off. We're just gonna take that O-ring out and you can see it's starting to get a little step in it. And that's bad. That means that there's a pretty good chance that if we put this back on without a new O-ring, it wouldn't seal very well. Make sure you get all the brake cleaner, all the uh, old oil off of it. And then you just wanna take this, roll on our, our new O-ring. We'll put a just a hand, just a touch of oil on it. Bolts in there. And I like that design. This one actually holds the filter in place for you quite nicely. Dip a finger in here, touch of oil all the way around this gasket. It helps prolong the life of the O-ring. And then put our filter in there. So we will now tighten the oil filter cartridge to 97 inch pounds. The larger one uses a 17 millimeter sock and tightens to 18 foot pounds. So this side tightens to 132 inch pounds. And now all we got left is oil. Back in the motor. I use Rotella T15W40 in all my bikes and you're going to need about 2.6 quarts. There's about four quarts in here, so we should be left with about uh, 1.4 quarts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just gently thread that on. Basically just turn it on long enough for the oil to circulate. We're going to check our stick and see where we're at. So we want to be right there. It's like we're basically full. And there we go, Buell oil change complete.